What is up friends of YouTube and welcome back to the channel and this right here is the Moto G 5G Plus. Okay, so the Moto G series started back in 2014. Now, I remember this as one of the most iconic eye-catching Android devices because of the stock Android feels that came with those interchangeable back covers to fit one's personality. Year after year, newer generations came into play, and although Motorola has been quiet in the Philippines for quite some time, back in December of 2020, they unveiled through an online event the Moto G 5G Plus, which is what we have here. Now, in Boston, the Moto G 5G Plus is pretty basic. It doesn't come with any fancy packaging. Everything is crammed into a tiny box that mirrors the device's foothold. Front and center we have the device itself where it already has the complimentary gel case attached to it. Removing the case we get to have a good look at the Moto G 5G Plus with this bluish gradient which I think is very masculine in my opinion as well as a first look at that 48 megapixel quad camera configuration at the back. Towards the right is the power button that doubles as a fingerprint scanner and volume rockers. Up top is the noise cancelling microphone. Towards the left, we have a dedicated Google Assistant button, as well as a SIM card tray that houses a hybrid SIM slot. And towards the bottom is the downward firing speaker, primary microphone, USB Type-C port, and a headphone jack. Underneath is the welcome packet that contains the SIM injector tool, the warranty and user guide, and along with the boss is the USB Type-C cable, fast charger, as well as a pair of earphones, which is something you don't normally see from manufacturers these days. The only thing that isn't present is a screen protector, but it's totally fine since I personally don't use screen protectors. Now, one thing I'd like to point out is the form factor, because it is a lot narrower than the competition. The feel in hand is great, kind of reminds me of Samsung flagships back in 2017 to 2018. Now, like most Moto devices, the Moto G 5G Plus comes with a rather stock Android feel. As you can see, all apps that are listed here, with the exception of a few that I've installed, is pretty Google specific. The only additional apps seen here are the Moto app, the radio app, and a device help app. And to amplify the UI experience, the Moto G 5G Plus also comes with a 90Hz refresh rate. Okay, sure, there are other brands in the market at this price point that provide a higher refresh rate. But personally, 90Hz versus 120Hz isn't really a big jump. The Moto G 5G Plus also comes with 128GB of storage, which is also expandable. And given that it comes with stock Android, you can really maximize the storage to the fullest rather than other brands in the market where they eat up 10 to 20 gigabytes of storage, which is a positive thing for the Moto G 5G Plus. Now in terms of photography, the Moto G 5G Plus comes with a rather straight to the point user interface. It also shares the same design language as that of a vanilla Android look where everything is just laid out. And by tapping on each option, populates features depending on what type of shooting mode you'd want to do. Sadly, because of the lockdowns, I am unable to produce any camera samples, but I can say that it did perform great for the most part. Now, gaming on the Moto G 5G Plus, however, was quite an impressive experience. Given that the Moto G 5G Plus comes with one of the much-loved mid-range chips in 2020, which is the Snapdragon 765, paired with the Adreno 620 GPU and a substantial amount of RAM, even demanding titles like Asphalt 9 perform smoothly with very little to no lags or stutters despite the amount of graphics being shown on screen. The 90Hz refresh rate does add to the fluidity of what is being shown on screen, and the responsiveness of the device towards gameplay is on a point. So after two weeks of use, I can honestly say that competitors should be worried with what Motorola brings to the table. A lot of consumers love the stock Android experience, and with the features and specifications this device brings to the table, it's a really tough decision for consumers to not even consider the Moto G 5G Plus. If you want to get your very own Moto G 5G Plus, links are in the description down below. In any case, thanks for watching. For more tech reviews and unboxing videos, a sub to the channel would be very much appreciated. This is Chris once again with Crisis Point, and I'll catch you in the next.